Adobe has added some great new features to Photoshop Elements 12. I'm Linda Sadcast, Adobe scrapbooking expert, and here's my review and favorite new features of Photoshop Elements 12. First up is pet eye removal. We've had the red eye removal tool for years, but that didn't help the furry creatures among us. Now the red eye tool has an option to check pet eye. Click once on an eye to remove pet eye. If you don't like the results, press Ctrl Z in Windows or Command Z on a Mac to undo and adjust the pupil radius or darken sliders. And I'm going to make this just a little bit darker, maybe around 60% and click again. And then I'll also click on the other eye so he looks natural there. Now unfortunately you can't use the sliders after clicking to adjust the effect. You must undo first and guesstimate the adjustment. But it's still a lot better than leaving your pet with glowing demon looking eyes. Next up is Auto Smart Tone which you'll find at the top of the Enhance menu. This tool displays a button in the center and four thumbnails of possible changes. Drag the button toward one of the thumbnails to get more of that effect. Now this tool is intuitive and easy to use and it's also smart. It'll learn what you like and begin to automatically make changes based on your prior choices. For example, based on what I've chosen in the past, it's already corrected my photo. Here's my before image and here's the after image. But I could still click and drag this to another spot and notice it shows a grid. I can make it darker if I want and let's say I want to leave it there and then I can click OK. Photoshop Elements 12 also has a new tool called the Content Aware Move Tool. It's at the bottom of the toolbar, this one right here that looks like crossed arrows. It replaces the cookie cutter tool and even steals the cookie cutter shortcut, the letter Q. The cookie cutter is now located with the Crop Tool and shares the Crop Tool shortcut which is C. The Content Aware Move Tool moves objects in your photo to a new location. So with this tool check Move for the mode and then draw a loose selection around the object. And you don't have to be too careful with this just so you get around it. So let's say we want to move this part over to another spot in our photo. Click inside and drag it to the new spot. Let go of the mouse and Photoshop Elements 12 will adjust it with Content Aware Technology and then press Ctrl D in Windows or Command D on a Mac to deselect. Now sometimes you'll need to use a clone stamp tool to make minor adjustments but it's really quite amazing what a good job it does. Next we'll look at three new additions to Quick Edit. The adjustments were here in the last version but now we have effects textures and frames. Effects lets you add photo effects similar to apps on smartphones. Here I use the cross process effect. Textures lets you add textures that blend with your photo and I use this one right here, the blue wash texture. Frames lets you add a frame to your photo. Effects and textures are really quite fun, but I found frames to be less appealing, especially since they often appear to lose their proportions after being fitted to a photo. But the one frame that I really like is this one right here, the aged photo frame which I used on this photo. It adds a curve and drop shadow that look very nice. And you can see the frame a little bit better if I go back to expert mode and then put a different color behind that frame. And now you can see how nice it looks. There are also three new guided edits which you can access by clicking Guided at the top of your program. The first one is Restore Old Photo. It's good for novices who don't know much about the tools for fixing photos, but it has fewer options for those who do know how to use those tools. So if you use this guided edit, you will still have to do most of the cleanup work yourself. It just tells you what to do next and makes it a little easier to access a tool you may not be familiar with. Here's what my photo looks like after I've used many of the tools listed in Restore Old Photo. Zoom Burst Effect is really fun for action photos. You could create this effect on your own using the Radial Blur Filter and a layer mask, but this is fast and easy. 
The Puzzle effect lets you turn your photo into a puzzle, remove pieces, and place them wherever you want. This is a fun effect that would be very difficult to simulate on your own. Next on the list is the addition of Content Aware Fill in the Straighten tool. When you use this tool, if you don't check Autofill Edges in Tool Options and you click and drag to set your horizon, then you'll get white around the edges as it straightens. But if you check Autofill Edges before you click and drag as I did on this photo, the tool will fill in missing pixels around the edges based on the content of the photo. Now here it did a great job with the dock, with the water, with the horizon over here, but it added part of this horizon area to the sky at the top. So you may have to clone or crop a little off the edges when you use this tool. Adobe added an easy way to open files, either JPEG or RAW, in Camera Raw, and you can open more than one photo at a time. You'll find the new command in the menu bar under File, Open with Camera Raw. Now you can't apply this command to an image that is already open, so make sure the images you want to adjust are closed before using this command. I much prefer the controls in Camera Raw over the Quick Fix controls. So I can bring this up and bring the shadows, make them lighter, add a little bit of contrast, maybe add a little bit of exposure to that very easily. But I am disappointed that you can't apply one correction to multiple images as you can in Photoshop. I hope they'll add that to the next version. For those of you who are Twitter enthusiasts, you can now tweet directly from the Share menu in Photoshop Elements. So here it is with the other social media sites and galleries that were in past versions. Here are a few more changes. There have been a number of tweaks to the organizer, but the main two changes are that places and events tags have been added and that you can choose to sort your photos alphabetically. Also, Photoshop Elements 12 comes with a free Adobe version of a cloud subscription at Ravel.com where you can store and sync your photos with Photoshop Elements. The free version gives you 20 gigabytes of storage space. And finally, the Magic Extractor has been removed. Why? because Adobe is transitioning to 64-bit support and the Magic Extractor does not support 64-bit. They would have needed to rewrite it from scratch, so they made the decision not to pursue it. And finally, here are the new features that I would find the most useful and fun. Better access to Camera Raw for photo editing, the Pet Eye tool, Auto Smart Tone, and the new photo effects and textures in Quick Edit. Again, this is Linda Satgas from Digital Scrapper. If you're interested in some great classes for Photoshop Elements, go to digitalscrapper.com.